Okay, thanks for clicking on looking at my video. What you're looking at is going to be a mug. I'm using up a bunch of scrap. Uh, just trying to get rid of them. some of the oddball pieces. A lot of I have a lot of little small three-quarter inch pieces. So what we got here is uh, this is walnut. This is also walnut. These two are maple. Well, that's cherry. And uh, these pieces are something like aspen or ash. I'm not sure what they are. It's walnut on the top. And I got this piece. It's, a, it's an odd piece of walnut, what it is. And that's going to be the handle for the mug. So uh, some of these smaller, thinner pieces, I'm going to stack cut. So I'm cutting multiple rings at a time. And that's the ring patterns. This is a Steve Good pattern. And you got several of those. And then got the handle. And that's the bottom, which is mahogany. I got the little piece down there is mahogany. So let me get some patterns mounted. I'm going to put me a number five blade. I think I can cut all this with a number five. Uh, like I say, I'll stack uh, some of the thinner ones, the three quarters. I'm not sure I'm going to stack. I'll probably stack this one and this one, this one and this one. And this one and this one and the rest of them will be single cuts and the, the base is a, is a solid circle it won't be a ring so let me get these mounted up we'll be at the saw and we'll cut them out and then it'll be a matter of stacking them and gluing them and and sanding them out Okay, it's all cut out. A uh, couple of things I wanted to put out, and I'll start, I check out, point out. When I started this, I had a piece of cherry right here. But the cherry, the blank wasn't quite large enough for this pattern. So I was, found a piece of mahogany. That's a, mahogany to the cherry. Let's see, uh, it'll match the base, which is also mahogany. And then another thing, uh, these patterns, Steve has a it has a flat spot on them right there, and that's intended to be the area which you glue the handle on. Now, I'm going to round that handle off uh, all around a little bit, but uh, so but I use that as a 
a way to get the uh, patterns lined up in the grain in each one so that the grain will all be the same. With one exception, I messed up one of them, these little thin rings. I, I didn't get the, pat the pattern lined correctly, but I'm going to go with it. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just good woodworking common sense to match grains. Uh, in this case, uh, there's small areas going to be in climate control, supposedly, and sealed. I don't think it'll be a real problem, but if it does, it'll delaminate, possibly. I don't think that'll happen. Uh, that's a fairly soft wood. I believe it'll give some, uh, but you're not talking about a lot of movement in, in this small of an area. So now I'm going to gradually stack these up and glue them. I've got a sander this, the width, this is five inches, and I've got a five inch spindle. So I'm going to match this inside as good as I can and uh, sand them as I go. Steve said to sand, you know, glue two or three and sand them. And that might be a better way, at least you can see what you're doing maybe. But I'm going to do this. I'm going to treat it just like a bowl. I'm going to slowly stack these up, gluing them, put them in the bowl press, and uh, then sand them both inside and out. And then I'll put the bottom on. I won't put it, I won't sand the outside until I put the bottom on. And then I'll sand this area for the, uh, there I go, sand this area for the handle. And, uh, and round it off a little bit. So let me get started gluing this up and see if I can make it look okay. Okay, got the inside of it sanded. It matched up really well. I, it's, I think it's all, there's no gaps or no no ridges in there. I feel a spot right there. I might need to hit again real quick, but it's very, very tiny. But I'm going to hit that a little for real quick, and then I'm going to glue the base on. I can do that with the base on it, but I'm going to go ahead and hit that spot there just a little bit more. And then we'll glue this on, and I'll sand the outside with the flexible pad sander. And I've rounded that off some, made it a little more comfortable to the hand. Let me hit that sander with, with the sander just a second, and then I'll get this glued on it. Well, there's pretty much the finished product. I've got one decent coat of finish on it. It needs to be, it needs to dry a little while and uh, do a little sanding and put some more on it. But that's what you get. That uh, mahogany is really thirsty. The walnut's really thirsty. It really soaks up a lot of finish. It takes a while to get it completely sealed and, and covered. Uh, I've got there's a finish inside and out. I hadn't done the bottom yet, but that's what it's going to look like. It's not going to get any better than that. Maybe I get a little depth to the finish. It'll be the only difference. But I'm going to call this good for the purposes of this video. That's my first mug. I always was reluctant to make one because of the idea of matching up all those rings. So with my bowl making experience, I've kind of got the handle on that. And uh, this is a little bit easier than a bowl. It's all straight. Uh, and I never cut exactly right. It helps to stack, but even then, you're going to have to sand and match things up. 
So anyway, that's the little finished product. It's the first mug I've ever made. Uh, I'm kind of happy with it. I like the way it looks. Uh, I've been holding myself to two cups of coffee, so this will be two cups of coffee right here. So anyway, hope you like that. And if you do, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm kind of enjoying making these kind of projects. And there'll be other things I'll get into too, but I'm going to stay with this. And bases, bowls, and cups for a little while. And I so hope you enjoy that. And if you do, uh, come back to see me or subscribe and come back and see the next ones I do. And I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching.